want to welcome everyone to the uh, Henry Kwanga Family Circle meeting in Pokemon this year. Hello. Great. Yeah. Uh, this is our 54th year together. Uh, we were founded in 1955. And um, I don't know how many years we've actually been coming to Pokemon, but we were trying to figure that out. We think it's at least seven to eight years. Really? Yeah. 2001. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we actually, as, as many of you know, we ran into another family here that this is their first year here, and they've been scouting around as well for a similar kind of location. Yeah, it's close to it. It's a privacy. Still open, it's still open. And, and the peers from uh, the work that they've done as well, they, they seem to think this is the best uh, location that's out there for what we're, we're trying to do. So, you know, maybe we found our spot at least for the foreseeable future. Um, okay, we have a lot of business actually tonight to deal with. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that uh, I think we're, we're 40 plus. Uh, you know, I don't know the exact number. Can we do a quick head count? We have, uh, <laughs> we have a relatively small group this year, but actually uh, I've heard a lot from a lot of people the same thing so far, and that is that everyone seems to be uh, very happy with uh, everyone's talking to a lot of people and feeling like they've really been very close uh, this year with the family and, and seen the family a lot. I think part of that is, uh, you know, we, we had a very successful softball game this afternoon, very competitive. Uh, so, so maybe those kinds of things are the things we want to, you know, look forward to doing in, in, the, in the future as well. But it, it appears to be a very, very successful weekend so far, and uh, everyone, from what I've heard, is having a very, very good time. Uh, we have people uh, from all over again. Uh, we have our Oregon contingent. Uh, if you can stand. We have Virginia. We have the Virginia crowd. And we have we have Washington, and we have Virginia. I'm sorry, I said Virginia, right? I'm sorry, we have Washington, we have Massachusetts, we have Baltimore, Ohio, Ohio, Florida, Florida, New York, New Jersey. So we have a lot of states represented. We've all come from all over the country to be here this week. Um, okay, in terms of uh, going forward, before we actually start the, the uh, official part of the meeting, uh, most recently, I think we're all aware that we've had two very big losses in the family. Um, and uh, I, personally, I feel that, uh, uh, you know, I knew both of these people very well. Of course, I'm talking about Ellen, I'm talking about Irv. Uh, and they had a remarkable impact on my life. Uh, and I think they've impacted all of us. Uh, but I think really, to be, to really, uh, you know, hear a little more about what's been going on with their families and and uh, our family and how that's all uh, um, been connected, I think it would be best for some of the, uh, the people from Oregon to speak and, and also from Virginia. So Carol, as the eldest, uh, if you can say a few words about your sister. didn't go out because uh, within a very short time, unfortunately, she passed. But um, in that email, what I talked about anyway was the feistiness that I remember. We had political arguments, you know, all of that. But I also remember she had this great voice, and she, you know, she had uh, a lot of personality and a lot of spunk. And you know, I really, uh, I had great memories of her from, from uh, Sax Lodge, especially. Uh, and she was a huge part of our family, and, and really a matriarch to, you know, to the boys that are here today. And I think as testament to, to her life and, and everything she did, uh, these young men wanted to be here this week. And I think that's a, a wonderful testament to your life. I would like to say that she left uh, loved and happy and wish she wanted to be surrounded by her children. I mean, I, I actually asked 
Joe. Where's Joe? Right here. Yeah. Right in front. Joe, mm -hmm. could you say a few words? Yeah. Can you talk about Irving? Where, right there is fine. Right, you can write for the sit and talk. Yeah. Sit and talk. Yeah. insurance company and people picked on her all the time. I remember as a kid listening to people pick on him and it was really sad. They did. But I think he was a good person and a good dad and he really cared about that. He really, really cared about the family and I think that that in itself is, is a legacy for him because I think he felt very proud of being a member of the family. Again, I, I guess we would you know, just note that he was the last brother of the uh, four brothers. Five brothers. Five brothers. See, I said five. He told me four. And one sister. And one sister, right? Of course. Right. 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 Um, so, uh, you know, that legacy is passed. And uh, again, I think we're reminded, um, uh, just as when Ralph passed last year, that, uh, you know, we're left behind. Um, and it's, it's really up to us when these great ones pass, to keep their legacy going. Okay, uh, to begin the meeting officially, yes. I, I, I just wanted to say something about Ellen, because I, I felt so terrible about her loss. And I remember we always bonded that we were the two Ellens, except she was the Ellen who could sing, and I was the Ellen. <laughs> I just wanted to repeat something that she said to me because it's like her legacy here. 
she, uh, at, at, I think it was at Sam's uh, Bat Mitzvah, she was there, and she asked me what I did for fun. And she said, you have to have joy. You must have joy in your life. To counteract everything else, joy has to be part of your life. And I always remember that, and I just wanted to share that with all of us so that we have it.
first inning was three to nothing. After the second inning, it was three to one. After the third inning, it was three to three. And then in the last inning, cheating. <laughs> cheating going on, but nevertheless, <laughs> nevertheless, it was one. We had a big turnout there, and most of us that have a little sunburn is probably from being out there on the baseball field. And a great time was had by all. And well, you didn't announce the final score. I did. I said the final score. I thought I did. I didn't. No. It was four to three. <laughs> Do we all cheer? The corn goes All right. All right. Any, any old business? Old business. I don't know if it's considered old business, but uh, the Matthew, uh, Kim, and Noah family uh, called this morning and wished everyone a happy occasion while they were studying and away in Arizona. All right. We missed them. Yeah. And Mrs. Sachs had said, you know, well, if you want a lamp or you want this or that. So I said I wanted the bell. And this bell, for those of you who don't know, when in Sachs Lodge it was like, I don't know how to describe it, but it was sort of like cabins, motel right. kind of thing. And in the morning, the little kids would long, would, I guess they, I don't know how they managed to get the bell, or they took turns or whatever, but whoever was like the first one in line had the bell and they would march around the whole area waking everybody up for breakfast. The then they would do it for lunch and dinner. And I don't know, did you fight over who would get the bell?